welcome to Texas Hana channel. I pray blessings over each and every one of you. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Okay, today's video is going to be a simple hood pin install. Now the reason I'm doing this is not for the aesthetic look, but for functionality. I'll explain here in just a second. Uh, we got this kit over here, which I will leave a link in the description for. Now this one is for aesthetic look but this one is functionality as well. So I guess people like to put these on their cars to make it look like they have hood pins without having to drill any holes or anything. I don't know why you would do that. It's not gonna actually save your hood in any way, shape or form. So that's pointless to me, junk, trash, don't need that. But these here, these are the actual hood pin parts where you actually have to drill a hole in the hood and then stick this adhesive on and it sits just like that. Then you slide the pin in and the hood won't open. Now the reason I do this is because I have had instances where the hood latch has failed. Um, it's not just happened to me, it's happened to a lot of people, including my friend Casey, my friend Jesse, and a few others that I know. Um, they've had their hoods pop open while driving, smash the windshield, bend over, and smash the sunroof. Um, I worked pretty hard on this hood to make it look really cool and light up and all that stuff. I don't want it to fail, and I did notice when I was driving that it was like, doing this rattling and it just was really sketching me out. So I went ahead and bought the hood pins and I'm going to install them. I do it for functionality, but I did get some good looking hood pins so that it also looks aesthetically well. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And uh, these are awesome because you don't have to drill four small holes to mount these. They just have the double-sided adhesive, which you can peel off at any time and then reapply double-sided adhesive. So it's pretty simple on those and it did come with little uh, lanyard pieces so that way the hood pin if it slides out for any reason like you forget to put them in or something which is a bad idea had that happen too um if you forget to put them in they'll they'll be on the lanyard still we've lost some of these uh, with the solid mounts it'll vibrate them out if it's not properly adjusted which we didn't properly adjust them at that time so they slid out with that being said um we're gonna go ahead go over under the hood and I'll show you what to do from there. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so the location I'm probably going to use is right here where these rubber little bump stops are. So you can just remove these pieces right out. And there's already a hole there, but it will need to be drilled out a bit bigger. These tools right here are what I prefer to use. It has a little drill bit to guide it, and then it's a hole saw that'll cut a fairly wide hole. Um, but I will probably be just widening these holes out with just a normal drill bit. All right, fits perfect. And there's access to the bottom side so I can get the nut on the bottom end and we will have to drill the hole up top. If you look right here, it actually left a mark where the little bump stop used to be. So we can actually just drill this straight up. And then once we close the hood, we'll be able to see what adjustments we need to get it to poke through. Now that I got it drilled out and widened, it goes in there perfectly. So comes right out the other side. Now I can go ahead and put the bolts on and get it bolted on to the radiator core support. So one of the ways I like to get the nut in there, since it is kind of harder to reach with a wrench, um, is put it on a magnet, slide it in like that, and carefully tighten it down. Now you will have to use a wrench to get in here to tighten it all the way down, but this helps. Okay, it pokes through. Now I am going to be keeping the normal hood latch. This is just a backup, just so you guys know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's poking through. Needs a little adjustment, not too big of a deal. Then we can go ahead and put the piece on, put a hood pin in it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to this side and then we'll see what it looks like.
Okay, got the hood pins installed. Now I did have to use the grinder on both of the hood pins in a little area. There's like a little lip there. Once you grind that part smooth, it goes right up in there, no problem. The main problem is this right here is a curve uh, and it wasn't going straight, it was going at an angle. So I did have to angle the pins forward a little bit, which was causing it to catch that lip. But it's a real simple thing to do. Just whip out the grinder real quick, shave some off and you're good to go. And it just went straight up in there. And the best part is, it's not going anywhere. So I have that peace of mind knowing that the hood latch, even if it did fail, I have the hood pins to catch it. Now I am still keeping the latch. It's better to have the latch and the pins, at least in my personal opinion. But uh, yeah, you shouldn't have an issue. I mean, most vehicles don't, but on Hondas particularly, I have seen it more often than not. So if you haven't had issues, I am thankful you haven't, but I recommend doing this just as a personal thing um, because even the wife's MDX does it and her hood like flops around and it really freaks me out because I've seen it happen many times. But uh, this is just extra peace of mind. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop it and show you this. So basically you just push down right here, pull the pin, push down, pull this pin, and it still has the actual hood latch. So this thing is doing fantastic. Uh, we're gonna go and take it for a drive. I'm gonna get on it a little bit so you guys can hear the supercharger and you know just go for a little ride. And then of course we will come back and go over some more stuff. But uh, before I do that, show you how bright this glows. As you can see, it's pretty bright. It is lighting up the entire ceiling here in the garage. This thing is awesome. I can actually turn the brightness down or up. As long as it stays in between yellow and orange, it is legal to drive with. Uh, if I do any other color, it's illegal. I've already looked up the Texas laws and everything, and not just Texas law, that's actually a United States law. So the entire United States, it is the same law. As long as it falls between the white and orange color, it can be used on the front end, including side markers, fog lights, so on. So it can't be blue, it can't be red, it can't be green, unfortunately. I like the green one, but this yellow one looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the GoPro in the car and we're gonna go for a little drive. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Praise God Almighty, this thing runs fantastic and it shifts so good. Doing the full throttle shift, I cannot wait to get this bad boy down the track, see what it runs. It's going to be awesome. I do still have to get the CV axles because these ones are both torn sling and grease and the steering done so that way I can get an alignment and get this thing safe down the track. Um, and then after that, we will go down the track if God is willing. Um, if you guys want to help support the channel, I do have merchandise right here. I have three tall boys and then these ones right here. I believe the 32 ounce. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it on screen right here for you guys. Um, these are the more motorsports one. If you don't know what more motorsports is, that is my first YouTube channel I ever made back in 2009. It is still going strong. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. It's taken a little bit longer to grow, but we are definitely growing still. Um, these ones here stay cold 
for 24 hours. These as well. Uh, these ones are the tall boys. These ones, I call them the big ones. So if you guys want one, definitely message me. The information's in the description. Either email me or instagram.com forward slash Texas Honda channel, instagram.com forward slash more motorsports garage. Either one works. I accept PayPal. Um, and yeah, the 35 shipped each for these right here. And these ones are 45 shipped each. Uh, these are definitely a high quality and I laser etched them myself here in the garage. Each one of them is unique in its own way. When you get it, you'll know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to help support the channel, that's the fastest way and I can start making more merch once this is gone. Um, a lot of people have been saying, hey, make some merch, I'll buy it. I make it and they don't buy it. So I'm only made this much right now and once these get sold, I'll make more. Uh, supply and demand kind of thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, once these get sold, we'll definitely uh, have more funds to make more and put more money into the car. Now, I didn't know if I showed you this, so right here, I have a little sweatband I got for like $5 or something off of Amazon, and I put it over the uh, brake reservoir. It looks pretty cool, a little custom touch to match the hood. And uh, yeah, this thing's definitely a head turner for sure. Everyone always breaks their neck trying to look at it with that cool glowing hood and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool for sure. Also, one more thing I didn't mention was the interior glow. I got the same kit from Walmart for the interior glow and got it hooked up on both sides. It is hooked to the key. So I turn the key on, it comes on. Uh, basically just hooked it up to the cigarette lighter stuff. The adhesive wanted to come off, it's really humid today. But it has different colors as well. You can do the multicolor mode and they're just uh, double-sided adhesive or whatever right up under there on both sides and they're secure out of the way I think it looks pretty cool but uh yeah this doesn't drain the battery in case anyone was wondering how bad does it drain the battery I left this on for eight hours uh, just kind of posted up in the driveway the neighbors loved it um, so I did that and started right up no problem so as long as it's shut off and you start it up to charge the alternator and, or charge the battery up with the alternator should be good to go but uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the channel's been kind of dry on content, but I'm doing the best I can working with what I have. I greatly appreciate you guys coming. Feel free to share the videos around, including the Legend of Zelda hood one. I want to try to get that one as many views as we can. The link is in the description. Definitely go over there, check it out as well. Uh, but that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.